difficult. Welcome to a micro engineering course. Today we start a micro strip line and an antenna. So we learn here what are the various strip lines that are used at micro frequencies. And we learn that what are the various antennas that are used at a micro frequency. Our topic is divided in a two term. One is about, we talk about the line first. What will be the transmission line? The transmission line at micro frequency, which has even small strip, so that's why it's called as a micro strip line. It is about a microwave, small, that strip is small, so that's why it is a micro strip line. And then another topic we learn here, a antenna. So in which we will learn the horn antenna, dish antenna, and a micro strip antenna. First of all, we start here a micro strip line, and then we discuss what are the various strip lines available, and then what are their characteristics of those lines that we will learn here. First, we start here with a micro strip line. And in micro strip line, so what are the various types of configurations available in this line that we will learn? Now, in a micro strip line, if you see here a line that is nothing but a transmission line that is used to propagate the signal, micro signal or we can say that the high frequency signal through the line. And we have seen earlier that conventional line, that is a two-wire transmission line or a coaxial cable we have seen. So in that particular line, if you differentiate this particular line, so these lines are work at a high frequencies and that two-wire line or a that coaxial cable work at a low frequency. Again, they have the losses because if you consider the two wire line, so there will be the radiation losses. If you consider the coaxial cable, again, there will be a radiation losses. But in the case of a micro strip line, this line is designed using a small strip configuration so that that radiation losses are less here. But in general, if you talk about the radiation losses, that radiation losses are directly proportional to the square root of a frequency. Now, what are the various microstrip line configurations and how this microstrip line looks like here? As I told you earlier, that micro is nothing but a small and that strip is nothing but one small conductor here. Means we have a small conductor present, and that conductor is nothing but a, in, in the form of a strip or in the form of a line. That's why we say that a micro strip line. Now, a configuration we see here, we, ha we say that for a micro strip line, there is a two plane, one is a conducting plane and another is about a, a ground plane. So this one is about, we say, it is about a ground plane. Now then conducting plane, because we say it is about a small strip, so micro strip here, so that small strip is present here. And this one is nothing but a, a conducting plane now. Okay. Now it has some width here, this one, it has some particular height, strip has some particular height and this particular different that region in between the ground plane and this particular conducting plane, this one is about a conducting plane, okay, this one is about, what we can say, it is about a, a strip here and in between that a strip 
and a ground plane this one we say here we have a, a dialect okay or we say it is about a, a substrate on the given substrate okay we say that or we like draw here in a different way here so this one is about a substrate okay say that that substrate it has a a constant of a permittivity okay that is epsilon r it is depending upon that what type of a substrate we are using in between the ground plane and this a conducting plane then next we talk we need to talk about that what will be the okay what will be this particular conducting wire we are going to be use here this one is about a substrate material okay for this substrate material it has a different epsilon r this conducting wire it can be of a made up of a copper it can be made up of a aluminum or likewise so that copper wire is deposited on this a substrate here so this one is about a, a uh, that cross sectional view of a, a micro strip line now if you see from another end here from the front end if you talk about this front end here so this is just like a a line we should we see that this one is about your okay suppose this one is about a substrate now and below that there will be a ground plane and then at this particular place here we have the a strip that strip is it is it is the middle of this whatever the structure substrate structure we have and this one is about a conducting one this one whatever we say you know, what a conducting structure is there present on the substrate this one is about a, a top view of the micro strip line this like a conducting wire now if you see the printed circuit board pcb in a single side pcb that conductor is present on the top side and that conductor is available on the substrate okay that is we say afr4 material okay we are using in a pcb but if you consider that a two side pcb so in that case on a two side pcb both the sides it is a conducting one and in between that there is a substrate so just like a similar kind of thing only instead of a whole structure on a pcb it is a conducting instead of that there will be a small line to be present on the pcb and below side is a full ground ground plane and above only a small line so that is about a type of a structure that is called as a micro strip line structure okay just like we understand that with the configuration of a, a printed circuit board so then uh, if you see in it in another way we say that a two wire transmission line or a coaxial wire then a two wire line it has a one is a what you can say that ground wire and another we supposed to conducting wire we supposed to consider so similar kind of structure we have it is about a ground plane and this one is about a strip conductor okay same it is nothing but a, it it just like it act as a a two conductor transmission line okay it just act as a two conductor transmission line one conductor we say it is about a ground plane and another is about we say it is about a strip here okay that is about what we can say that is about a two conductor transmission line this micro strip line is nothing but a two conductor transmission line but this conductor okay this conductor is present on the substrate and in between that this conductor there will be substrate and this conductor okay in between these two conductor there will be a substrate means we have a a dielectric material okay in between the conductor that is the strip conductor and a, a ground plane means if you take in another way one side of this substrate there will be a strip conductor another side 
there will be a, a ground plane. Okay. So means we say that here this one is a metallic strip and this one is a ground plane. That is the but for this particular substrate. Means one side of this substrate is strip conductor or a metallic conductor. Another side we say it is about a, a ground plane. So what are the various substrate material we are using and what will be its epsilon R? Okay. So generally, if you consider that there are the various types of substrate material used in a strip line or a micro strip line. Okay, that where what about the a configuration in a micro strip configuration? And there are the various types of a micro strip configuration. Here is just like a common one, one strip and a ground plane. In between that, there will be a, a there will be a substrate. But another another configuration, or we can say that various structures of a micro strip line. Here, if you see that this one is about the epsilon r, that is about a substrate. On the substrate, this one we say it is about a metallic strip. Okay, this one is about a metal. This one is about what we can say that a epsilon R and in between that this one is the conductor and this one is about not what we can say that it is about a, a ground plane. Okay, it's two plane. But in between that there will be a then another thing is about another structure or another configuration on the substrate here. This one we say that is about a substrate on the substrate there will be metal conductor so it has a epsilon r for the given particular substrate and then this one we say that a ground plane so this one this configuration is called as a inverted micro strip this one is called as a inverted micro strip and this one is called as a a suspended micro strip. Okay. Then a micro strip configuration, another configuration. See here. So in this case, we have the strip here, and then above that. We have the epsilon R. This one. That is about what we can say that micro strip with a overlay here. This one we say that we have the a ground plane. This one is about what we can say that the micro strip with overlay okay then a strip dielectric waveguide so another configuration this one we say that a epsilon r so this one we have a dipsonal epsilon r here then this one is about a ground plane ground plane we have and this one is about a epsilon r1 and a epsilon r2 means this particular strip it has a different epsilon r okay means what you can say that that substrate okay this one is a different substrate this one is a different substrate okay and their permittivity constant we can say that whatever the material properties depending on depending upon this epsilon r value so that epsilon r epsilon r value varies then your properties of a material changes. Okay. Then uh, another configuration inverted. This one is called as a strip dielectric. This one is called as a strip dielectric waveguide. And the another configuration, if you see here, so this one we have the Epsilon R now, epsilon R1. Then we have the 
small strips which are the f small r2 and in between this we have the a ground plane this one is f small r2 f small r1 and this one is about your a ground plane so that is called as a inverted strip this one is called as a inverted strip strip means what this strip okay this one is called as a strip conductor but that strip has a different f small r value okay this strip has a different f small r value that's why you can say that inverted strip dielectric waveguide okay this one is about you we say that a dielectric waveguide okay so that substrate it has a dielectric constant f small r here we say and that f small r is different here and based on this dielectric constant value okay we just talk about that uh, f small r value dielectric constant value okay that will be different for the your particular substrate here okay next is about we see generally we talk about that for a given line or a in terms of a what we can talk about the wave we have the medium constant that f small okay mu and a sigma so for any dielectric this value will be different f small 0 f small r this will be what mu 0 and a mu r now this f small 0 and mu 0 okay this one these are the medium constant when we say that wave is propagating so all these are nothing but a medium constant mu f small and sigma then this one is about what we can say it is about a, a conductivity but if you talk about this f small mu and a sigma a value so for a given material any material we say that it has some medium constant okay that medium constant these are the f small mu and sigma and based on this medium constant we say that this material is highly conducting or we can say that pure conducting material or this material has a perfect dielectric okay or imperfect dielectric okay so this material properties depend upon the medium constant now what type of a substrate or what type of a material is material okay used in the given substrate here okay to de develop the micro strip line so generally we say that pt fe glass we just write here a material now there are the different types of material and that it each and every material it has a dielectric constant f small r and that is about a tan delta okay so that is about what you can say that tan delta is nothing but a depth of penetration okay so we are uh, we we have seen earlier any conducting material okay so what will be the skin depth and all so that factor tan, tan delta belongs to the that is skin depth okay we saw talk about the given material so now what material we have generally used in the micro strip line ptfe material that ptfe means what a poly tetra phyllene okay and we just consider generally ptf instead of that we just talk about the teflon one okay instead of uh, saying ptfe you can talk, talk about directly a teflon one and that material it has a epsilon r 2.2 and a tan delta 0 0.0002 to point okay zero zero I think goes away from this 
line here i'll write here tan delta 0 0.00022.0005 0 0 0 next another material rt uroid okay that registered mark 5880 okay so it has a epsilon r 2.26 and tan delta 0 0.001 then another material alumina so it has the epsilon r 9.6 to 10 and 0 0 0.002 to 0 0 0 0.005 that will be the tan delta. The next point is about a sapphire. So it has epsilon r 9.4 and tan delta 0 0.0001. Then a gallium arsenide it has epsilon r in between that 11 to 13 value and the tan delta is about a 0 0.016 and the silicon one it has a small r 12 and tan delta 0 0.015 now these are the various materials or you can say that in between the two conducting uh, conducting plane one is about a ground plane and one is about a strip conductor there in between that various substrate materials used and those substrate materials have a constant epsilon r and the tin tan delta value okay. that are depending upon the echo what we what material we are using so for a given material epsilon r is different tan delta is different. but again we need to talk about which particular material is suitable for the high frequency because our aim is about to learn, understand a micro strip line that line is to be work at high frequencies there so then which material is suitable from this particular table it just reflecting the material and their constant okay dielectric constant okay material and their dielectric constant but if you talk about the frequency so the, which material is used at higher frequency so generally so aluminum material that is used at a higher frequency okay that is higher at higher frequencies means what up to a 20 gigahertz this aluminum material okay this one is about aluminum material that substrate of this aluminum material it has a 9.6 to 10 is the optional R value and this particular material is used at a higher frequency up to a 20 gigahertz if you want to work again above the 20 gigahertz of the frequency then a sapphire material is used okay this one this one will work above the 20 gigahertz of the frequency so now at a micro frequency generally we say micro strip line whichever the device is right now available they are working below 20 gigahertz right now they are using this alumina material and its frequency is about a, a 20 gigahertz and we have seen that various configurations here micro strip configuration but there are again various configuration that are used the micro integrated circuit and that micro integrated circuit configurations as we say earlier that is are we seen earlier that's about inverted micro strip suspended micro strip micro strip with the overlay strip dielectric waveguide inverted strip dielectric waveguide these are the various configurations used in a micro integrated circuit and that configurations they are using a different material okay they are using a different material we say earlier epsilon r1 and epsilon r2 so we can 
use the different types of the material that will work at a higher frequency okay so that's about that's all about what we can say that a micro strip configurations and their material but now our aim is about to learn that what will be the field distribution in the micro strip line or we can say that a strip line so as it has a small strip conductor so that's why we say it's about a strip line and how your signal is propagating we say that a wave is propagating okay in another way now what type of a wave is propagating what what will be the modes of a propagation there generally we say that in a rectangular waveguide there will be a t mode of a propagation or a tm tm mode of a propagation but if you consider that a two wire transmission line that this two wire transmission line will not support a t or tm mode it supports a tm because it is a two wire now similarly we have a micro strip line so that again support a tm wave okay so what we can say that that uh, t or a tm okay and earlier early what we say for a rectangular wave guide but in the case of a uh, micro strip line we supposed to say that it is about a uh, quasi tm wave okay not a pure tm wave is propagating through the micro strip line and that losses as we say that there is a at a high frequencies that conductor is act as a radiator so in that case if supposed to be micro strip line is work at high frequency then there will be a radiation loss and that radiation loss that loss is directly proportional to the frequency there okay sorry square root of a, a frequency there. so we say that we direct we say that the frequency means if we use a different material at a higher frequency then loss will be a different here next a field distributions now in a field distribution we say that we have a substrate and this one is about we say it is about a substrate and one side of a substrate there is a ground plane this one say that it is about a ground plane there and on this ground plane this one is a substrate okay this one we say it is about a substrate now and on this substrate here there will be a small strip and that strip has some height as well as some width here now how this field could distributed here field distribution is what what belongs to the that uh, electric field component and the magnetic field component how it looks like here for the given micro strip line this electric field vector or you can say that a magnetic field here so now this one the body strip this one the strip is a conducting one so in that case around that wire just like we say that this was about a wire around that wire there will be a magnetic field okay there will be around the wire there will be magnetic field but this conductor and this one is again a conductor but this conductor we say it is about a ground plane then this ground plane and what we can say here we have a uh, uh configuration okay so this one is about a conducting one so now in this particular case here if we talk about this conducting wire or we say that for a given particular small section this is about a wire now this one is about a line okay so now this particular line is propagating this particular line is propagating here and then this particular is a wire again a wire both are a conducting one but this one is about a a ground ground plane okay but this one is about a ground plane so now in between these two there will be a substrate so that's why this 
plate this one is the one plate we say this one is the another plate so now this one will be act as a, a capacitor one okay configuration if you see the configuration this configuration will be act as a copy capacitor then in that case a field emanate from what okay field emanate from the one conductor and terminates at the another conductor that conductor should have a ground plane so now this one is about a conductor so in that case field emanates from the conductor here and terminates at the conductor so now this is about electric field configuration okay this one is about we have a strip field emanates from the conductor likewise we say a configuration now so how we say that it is about emanates from the conductor there okay and it terminate at this ground plane now this is about what we can say that a electric field this is about a e field distribution okay this one is about a e field distribution because this one is a positive so in generally if you see the parallel plate here one plate is a positive another plate is a negative now field emanates from the positive and terminate at the negative okay field eliminate from the positive and terminate at the negative now the similar thing here here we have the conducting strip this one is about a conductor now this is about a micro strip now this small strip conductor and for this small strip conductor a electric field emanates from this conductor and terminate at the a ground here another conductor that's about it we see this one is act as a positive and this one is act as a negative field emanates from this conductor and terminates at the a ground plane next we see here a magnetic field distribution this one is about a electric field distribution but if you see the configuration so this wire okay this strip is open to space now okay this one is a open to space and this in between that strip and the ground plane this one is a substrate okay this is this one is about whole substrate here. this one okay everything this one is belongs to the substrate now in between this but some of the field emanates from this and they will be move away okay we just say that that there is like a loss for this particular wire so we talk about that particular loss later right now we see that what will be the a field distribution then a magnetic field as i told you earlier if there is a wire if the current flowing through the wire there that is about a biotic field law current flowing through the wire then around that wire there will be a magnetic field and the direction of this field it is depending upon that uh, it depends upon the what will be the direction of current okay so we just use a thumb rule to identify that what will be the direction of the field field now we will not talk about that which for forward direction current or backward direction current only one way direction of the current this one is about the strip and then around that there will be a magnetic field so then a magnetic field because current is flowing in that direction okay inside the board now so then a, around that there will be a magnetic field so magnetic field vector will be looks like this one this one is about a magnetic field that will be around the what we can say that around the this strip this one is about a magnetic field okay so means around the strip there will be a magnetic field vector so now this one is the direction so we need to know about the what will be the direction of the magnetic field okay so that's about a distribution field distribution that is about for the electric field line and a magnetic field but I, as i told you here earlier this particular strip is on the substrate with this strip is open now okay this line is called as the open strip line this configuration we say here right now this one is about a open strip line because that whatever the strip we consider here it doesn't have any ground plane that is that is top ground plane is not there okay there is a near, nearby this there is no ground plane nearby to the strip that 
ground plane is below the screw so that's why this particular script if supposed to be any ground plane is present on the top of the script okay then it will terminate okay whatever the field is there it will terminate but here it is open now so that's why we can say that this particular strip line is called as a open strip line okay this is called as a open strip line so it has a no ground plane above this particular top side okay but below that below that particular strip there is a, a ground plane now so then uh, for a given particular strip we say here okay, this is about a strip line so then we need to talk about that a characteristic of this line so line characteristics are defined in terms of a, a characteristic impedance and a propagation constant so what is the value of the a characteristic impedance and that characteristic impedance is dependent upon what will be the substrate we are using okay what will be the substrate we are using now for a given particular substrate it has a some epsilon r value okay it has some particular epsilon r value now a characteristic impedance as we say earlier we say that it is depending upon the epsilon r as well as what will be the strip width here this one is the what width of the strip what will be the strip line thickness means height of this particular strip and then what will be the distance between the line that strip and the ground line based on that we can find out the a characteristic impedance of the strip line and then for a given particular strip we say that around that particular strip here there will be a different values of the epsilon r okay, why because the material we say here this one is a micro strip now this one is about a ground plane okay and here okay this one is about a ground plane then this one is about what we can say that a strip for the given strip it has some particular width this one is about a width and this one is nothing but the height and uh, in between that this one is a separation distance okay this what you can say that distance between the a two particular plane now okay so generally we say that instead of a height here this one is about we say a height here and this one is about a thickness t this one is about a thickness okay or hard what we can say that and another way what will be the thickness of that particular strip and what will be the height here and the width based on that we can calculate the a characteristic impedance of the strip that is about it said then next factor is about what a for a given particular material it has some substrate value that is about a epsilon r but for a given particular material if you see that here because this conductor and this conductor the distance this one is a separation but if you see here there is no separation right now okay nothing is there so this strip is open here so this particular portion so in that case what will be the effective value of a dielectric constant for a given particular strip that is to be calculated here and that effective value of this that effective value of dielectric constant that epsilon r the effective value it is depending upon that a board configuration okay, that's about what is size and everything and then we can calculate the effective permittivity value epsilon is of epsilon r we say that epsilon effective okay we say that what will be the epsilon effective value that is depending upon that size everything for because we have a strip this particular portion open here that's why that it has a some effective value and then we calculate a a character impedance and as i told you earlier we say that a tm mode propagating okay tm mode is exists in this line but we are not saying it is about a pure one okay not 
a pure TM mode. And if you see this particular configuration, it looks like a, a two plate capacitor. A strip, this one is about a, a ground. And for this particular two plate capacitor, so what will be the effective dielectric constant, epsilon effective here? And that for this particular effective dielectric constant, we need to find out to what particular region is considered for the given particular strip there. Okay, and then we can calculate that effective value of a dielectric constant. So we write here the character dependence value, zero. It is depending upon that. These are some. Okay. These are the analytical value directly I am writing. Okay, that comes through the analysis here. That 60 into under the what you can say that effective value here, and a natural logarithm of that 8h by w plus w by 4h. But here the this value when we have this w by h that width by height that will be less than one okay, this equation okay this equation is valid when the w by h is less than one so another another equations we can write for the characteristic dependence zero is equal to what that is 376.7 divided by effective value to w by h plus 1.4 plus 0 0.667 natural logarithm of w by h plus 1.44 okay this one now this equation is valid when we have the W by H ratio is greater than the one. This character impedance equation is valid when W by H ratio is equal to greater than one. Or we write another way, 376.7 divided by F null effective to H by W again equation valid when we have the w by h equal to greater than 1. Now these are the character impedance equations for the given line that character impedance is depending upon that width and height ratio. Okay, that is about a w by h. What is the width? This one is about the width of the strip line and this one is about the separation between the a strip conductor and a, a ground plane. So that we will get that a character impedance with respect to that w by h ratio and if you consider here the character impedance now if that value that character impedance as compared to the w by h ratio if w by h ratio e increases then a zero decreases there okay and also we supposed to say that it is again depending upon that a factor of a epsilon r so if you draw a graph of a character impedance versus a zero by h so in that case your graph will be what we have the a w by h here and this one is about a zero so then it is about a likewise we say that the graph will be looked like and these are the values that is about a character impedance it's decreases with respect to the w by h ratio okay and another equation we can write alternatively for the correct impedance that is again depending upon that okay zero is equal to 60 by epsilon r natural logarithm of 4 h by w in that case h is very very greater than what will be the diameter of the wire okay this one is about wire on this particular ground plane here 
and h is about the height of the height of the wire from the center of the wire to the a ground plane so that's all about what we can say the micro strip line and their characteristic characteristic impedance equation we stop here so thank you all of you we'll continue okay thank you all so we uh, continue uh, again after 10 minutes here we'll take a break of a 10 minutes and we'll be back here and we'll talk about that losses and other factors here i suppose to consider that you doesn't have any other lecture here and uh, we have missed a monday lecture okay so that's why we'll continue again suraj patil so i suppose to consider that you doesn't have any other extra lecture that's why we would i would like to continue further and we'll see that what will be the other parameters of the micro strip line so with this we stop here and uh, we'll back again at 11:15 so thank you all of you so maybe our meeting will end after one or two minute okay so please uh, join again at 11:15 okay all of you please rejoin again at 11:15 okay all of you please rejoin this meeting again at 11:15 thank you all of you we stop right now